What's up? It's Mike. Today we're working on the vintage Konami machine and we're going to turn this into this. Alright, let's get down to it. I'm going to start by just removing all the electronics and taking all of these screws out. So some of you are probably like, but Mike, what about the electronics? Don't destroy those. They can still be used. I'm gutting this and this area of the cabinet is actually going to be shelving. So I want to remove all of this and we're going to be consolidating and making all of these non-functional, but they will be able to be kind of cosmetic. These are actually in really good condition. The 25 cent piece module. You need one of these. I've got two of them. So it's very interesting engineering because everything had to go in here a certain way, right? So everything went left to right. So this one went in, everything is put in on the left side first and then the right because all the screws are on the right side. I can imagine that being very annoying when assembling these or when people went in to repair these, that had to be very annoying. So mods living in here at one point. Now we're going to get in here, we're going to disassemble these, uh, just the, this system, and then we're going to kind of refabricate it with uh, the good old hacksaw. You need to be careful with this part because the screws go into the plastic. We're going to cut here, and we are going to cut along that line. That way we don't have any of that, but we still leave the coin drop receptacle. Alright, the second one is out. Keep everything together. You know, I keep the screws together with it and all that jazz. So left will go with left and right will go with right. But this is where the coin and the spring hit. Taking these apart and cutting them up. Now we're gonna file that down. With the little one around the house, I'm making sure this is just like butter because, you know, I know when I was a kid, I loved putting my fingers in the coin return, so. Whew. As you can tell, my face is dripping. It's like 100 degrees, so I'm super happy that we're gonna be able to go inside and get these in the ultrasonic cleaner already. Things I do for content. Okay, so we are going to disassemble these, put them in our V4 ultrasonic cleaner that we got here on TikTok actually, which has been an amazing help. It, there's just years of so much grime and grit in there though. All right, and we are back. Nice and shiny, a lot of that grit and grime has come off. Except in there, we just take our little piece of sandpaper and it comes right off now. Just like that, all shiny. That's so gross. Now let's get down to cleaning some of our plastic parts. In our plastic parts, I'm literally just gonna take a makeup brush with some Dawn dish liquid, tip of it. Though they're all clean, let's get them out into the sun to dry. These are all dry and sanded. We're gonna use a fill primer, it's automotive. So remember, safety first. Always protect your lungs. All right, now to prep this guy for priming. These up with some Dawn dish soap real quick. All right, let's finish this priming. All right, first round of grape purple. For our secondary color, for our accents, we're gonna go with this lilac color. Now that the paint's all cured, let's get it back together. And just like that, we have our door done. 